Hello, we are in A Course in Miracles workbook for, for students, part one of the workbook. Hopefully I can speak. We are on lesson 14. God did not create a meaningless world. The idea for today, of course, is, of course, the reason why a meaningless world is impossible. What God did not create does not exist, and everything that does exist exists as he created it. The world you see has nothing to do with reality. It is of your own making and it does not exist. The exercises for today are to be practiced with eyes closed throughout. The mind searching period should be, a sh should be short, a minute at most. Do not have more than three practice periods with today's idea unless you find them comfortable. If you do, it will be because you understand what they are for. The idea for today is another step in learning to let go of the thoughts that you have written on the world and see the Word of God in their place. The early steps in this exchange, which can truly be called salvation, can be quite difficult and even quite painful. Some of them will lead you directly into fear. You will not be left there. You will go far beyond it. Our direction is toward perfect safety and perfect peace. With eyes closed, think of all the horrors in the world that cross your mind. Name each one as it occurs to you and then deny its reality. God did not create it and so it is not real. Say, for, for example, God did not create that world and so it is not real. God did not create that airplane crash and so it is not real. God did not create that disaster, specify, and so it is not real. Suitable subjects for the application of today's idea also include anything you are afraid might happen to you or anyone about whom you are concerned. In each case, name the disaster quite specifically. Do not use general terms. For example, do not say God did not create illness, but God did not create cancer or heart attacks or whatever may arouse fear in you. This is your personal, and I'm laughing because repertoire, I can't say that word, of horrors at which you are looking. These things are part of the world you see. Some of them are shared illusions and others are part of your personal hell. It does not matter. What God did not create can only be in, please bear with me as I turn the page, your own mind apart from his. Therefore, it has no meaning. In recognition of this fact, conclude the practice periods by repeating today's idea. God did not create a meaningless world. The idea for today can, of course, be applied to anything that disturbs you during the day. Ah, uh, here I am. The idea for today can, of course, be applied to anything that disturbs you during the day aside from the practice periods. Be very specific in applying it. Say, God did not create a meaningless world. He did not create and then specify the situation which is disturbing you. And so, it is not real. Thank you for joining with me. I love you.